Hi everyone, I'm Lottie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a Pilates routine for relaxation and calming. So we're gonna focus on alignment, control of movement, moving with ease, and also of course, breathing, which is gonna really help you relax and chill out. So we're gonna start off in relaxation position. So that's just laying down on your mat. So just slowly come down and you want your feet in line with your hips. So not the outside of your hips, but more the front line of your hips, kind of where your sitting bones are. And then just let your body completely settle on the mat. And you might want to bring a towel or a head cushion under your head, if that's more comfortable. So you want to be as comfortable as possible. And then just allowing your body to rest into the mat. So take a few moments here, feeling the weight of the back of the pelvis, the back of the ribs and the back of the head in contact with the mat. And then just feeling your thigh bones dropping down into your hip joints. And just noticing the natural arches of your spine, so arch underneath your lower back and underneath the back of your neck as well. So we'll just start with some breathing just to bring you right into present moment and focusing on that lateral Pilates breath. So taking an inhale, really filling up the ribs, the lungs, and then just exhale, allowing your sternum to soften. And again, breathing in really wide and exhale. So just noticing kind of what areas of your body are moving when you breathe. So maybe the breath is a little bit up in the shoulders and the chest. I just want you to direct that into the side and the back of your rib cage a little bit more. So it might just take a few breaths to encourage that. And using the exhale to just let go of any excess tension that might have crept up throughout your day. And then we're gonna go into some pelvic tilts. So just placing your hands on your pelvis. So this is an awareness exercise and just getting some movement into your lower spine. So you're going to just rock your pelvis towards your navel. So the whole lower back presses into the mat and then rock towards your feet. So just becoming aware of that pelvis that's at the base of your spine and as you move the pelvis forwards and back, the spine reacts. And this is a good way for us to find where our neutral placement is. So neutral is when your spine is in its most natural position, your joints are in their most aligned and then everything can move with balance. So let's just find somewhere in between those two points. So your hip bones are level, and then we'll just go into a little bit of centering. So you can keep your hands here if that helps you really connect to that area in the center. So again, we're gonna breathe in, and then as you exhale, just draw in the navel towards the spine, but without changing the shape of the spine. And then inhale, just hold the tummy in towards the spine. And then as you exhale, just let it release. And again, so deep breath in, ribs wide. And then as you exhale, relax, draw the navel towards the spine. So softly drawing it in and up. And then inhale, just holding that center, holding that stable pelvis. And then just exhale, release and let it go. So we should be able to maintain a sense of center and stability through the spine and the pelvis, but without having to really tense everything and grip everything. So it's more of a subtle connection that I want you to feel here. So now let's reach the arms up above the shoulders and just get the shoulders in the right position as well and also release any tension. So we're gonna take some shoulder drops. So you're gonna inhale, reach the fingers up towards the ceiling. So if you're trying to reach up towards something but you can't lift your head up. 
and then exhale, release them back down into the mat and into a little bit of retraction as well as if you're kind of pinching something together between your shoulder blades. And then breathing in, reaching up and breathing out to squeeze down. And just keeping the elbows, a little dip in the elbows. You want the inside of the elbow joints facing each other. So you're not locked and really focusing on softness in the rest of the body. So try and just keep that breath flowing throughout. We'll do two more of these. Inhale, up. Exhale, as you drop, try and relax the shoulders. And one more breathing in. And breathing out. So now just finding a kind of neutral placement of the shoulders. And we're gonna take rib cage closure with a leg slide. So again, we're gonna focus on some shoulder movements, but as we take the arms back, we're gonna slide one leg away. And check in that we don't lose that neutral pelvis. So just by really taking these movements slowly and by focusing on your alignment and your control, you're going to hopefully just relax all of that tension. So reaching back with the arms just by the side of the ears and then bringing the leg back in. So sliding one leg away and trying not to lose that centre, that sense of connection and then coming back. And another challenge here is not to let the ribs flare out. But I don't want to give you too much to think about because the whole point of this routine is just to feel relaxed. So don't overload your mind with loads to think about. Just move with control. And then we're going to come back. And then just take some nice arm circles now, keeping the neck nice and long just to get a little bit more movement through the shoulders. Mobilizing the joints, breathing in and breathing out, keeping that flowing breath. And reverse, feel wide across the chest as the arms go back and then control. And try and see if you can get the arms to move exactly at the same time. So again, that's an awareness exercise. Sometimes one arm will kind of move quicker than the other or move more than the other one. So just try and get that exact same movement. Good, okay, so let's bring the legs up now and do, do some hip mobility, some knee circles. So placing your hands on your knees really softly and then just drawing them in towards your chest and you can let the pelvis just rock towards you there and then just gently circle them away from each other so your arms will stretch and then bring them back together so we're keeping all the movements just really easy and relaxed and you can even just close your eyes and kind of really switch off here sort of like a move-in meditation in a way just try and let go of everything else and just allow the movements happen without you even thinking about it. And then we're going to reverse. And again, try and get the knees to move exactly the same time and the same range of movement and the back will react as well just a little bit good so going into some hip rolls now just to get some rotation through your lower back so refine that neutral bring your feet and knees together this time and take your arms out to the side so not too high a little bit lower than your shoulders okay so again there's no tension creeping up into those shoulders and then we're going to add a little head turn. 
So you're going to pick up one side of the pelvis and roll it over. And at the same time, just turn your head the other way. And then come back. And then roll the knees over to the other side and turn your head. So we tend to build up a lot of tension, especially around the back of the neck and the shoulders. So as you turn the head, release that tension, see if you can get a nice bit of mobility in that neck, right at the top of the spine. And you're just gently releasing around that lower back. So just taking these gentle movements, laying on your back to relax you, to realign your spine. And we'll do one more to each side. And when you turn the head, just focus on really turning from the eyes and the nose, not by just kind of rolling your chin to the side. So you're gonna get that lovely rotation if you turn from the eyes and from the nose, allowing the back of the head to roll. And then we're gonna lift the legs up and hold onto the backs of the thighs. And then just stretching up gently through the hamstrings. Don't overstretch, just see how they feel. And then bend in the knees down. So keeping your pelvis lovely and still, use that breath, exhale, stretching up the legs. Try and keep the lovely alignment of your legs going down into your hips. And then just taking some Ankle movements, pointing and flexing the feet. And then what you could do here is even come to the wall and just rest your legs up against the wall. And you can do it just on your mat as well. I quite like to just let my legs hang there and bring your arms down by your side. So you don't have to have them fully straight and tense, but just kind of let the legs kind of feel really heavy into the hip joints, really kind of relax, even just shake them out a little bit. And then just finish in with some breaths here and just really softening the legs into the hips. Again, if you want to rest your legs up a wall, that is a really nice option as well. And then just finishing off with those deep breaths. And every time you exhale, you might notice that there's a little bit more tension. So really letting it go. Maybe you notice now that from those movements, you're able to breathe a little bit more into your ribs. And you can just stay here for as long as you want. Just keep softening through. So thank you for joining me. I hope that you are feeling a bit calmer and more relaxed. So um, take these 10 minutes for you, just whenever you feel like things are getting a little bit too much or make it a daily practice. And I'll see you again on the mat for another video soon. Bye.